Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be talking to you about this very late 2007 Volvo V50. It's silver in colour with black leather interior. It's an LE and it's got the very reliable 5 cylinder 2.4 litre engine. It's also got parking sensors and heated seats. It's got the two original remote keys and a very good service history to it. Just 85,000 kilometres since new. It's been very well looked after. Often we find with these family cars they seem to get dents, scrapes, scratches. It gets sat in with wet bathers and wrecks the leather. But this is just not one of those cars that's in very lovely condition. Looks like it's been garaged. The leather is excellent. Sorry, it's a bit dark. There we go. You've got great utility being a wagon. It's got the original number plates on it since it was new, which is nice, just means it's always been a New South Wales car. It's got the rear luggage cover, which is nice. They often get lost. The rear carpet's in great condition. No rips or tears there either. I think they're incredible value for money. Very reliable. The S40, the V50 and the S60s are very reliable cars. I think the original S40 when it first came out in the 90s was built on a Mitsubishi Charisma. And the V50 like this one shares a lot of parts with a Ford XR5 I believe, with a 5 cylinder but very reliable if you have a good European mechanic and you ask them what they think of a Volvo V50 with a 2.4 litre five cylinder engine, I'm sure they'll agree. It's got long registration in New South Wales. When you turn the parking lights on, it actually lights up an amber light here, which is uh, basically a lot safer in the rain and at night time. Silver's easy to keep clean and the same goes for the charcoal interior. The wheels are in great condition, the tyres look quite new and really if you're looking for a Volvo V50 station wagon this would be one of the best available. I don't think I've talked too much about Volvo's safety, it does go without saying. I will add though that I, I just read an article yesterday about a Volvo XC90, about or XC90s in general and there's several articles online suggesting that there has never ever been a fertility or a fatal accident in the UK for a Volvo XC90 that's pretty amazing when you consider how many XC90s are around I certainly doubt there's uh, many manufacturers that can boast that but you can Google it if you like. You can Google XC90. No fertilities, no fatal accidents. Um, there's a number of different articles, which is very impressive. So they're safe, economical, reliable. You've got great utility. Really, what more do you want from a car? The five-cylinder sounds fantastic. It's got low kilometres... Like I say to people sometimes, if you're worried about you know, how long the car will last, when will it start having major issues, how many old Volvos do you see driving around? Maybe for a laugh you could go onto car sales, type in Volvo V50, kilometres high to low, and you'll see the cars with 250 to 300,000 kilometres. So this car's a long life ahead of it. It's good value, it's in great condition and uh, certainly don't think it's going to last very long. We just had a very similar car in stock, which we sold, similar kilometres. I think it was a year newer, and um, that sold within a week. We're located in Marrickville, not far from Sydney Airport, and we can help you out with finance if you like. And we certainly do look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks for watching.